Hi friends, it's Miss Thomas. I am so glad to be back with you. Well, today we're gonna do a pre-K or pre-kindergarten math lesson today. Well, I have my friend Brownie here. He's gonna be with me just for a little while with our numbers that we're gonna do today. After that, I'm gonna sit him down and we're gonna get right on into our lesson, but you know what we have to do first, right? Yeah, have you been guessing that? We have to do our objectives. We have to say what we're going to be doing today for math. All right, so Miss Thomas is going to bring up our objectives. Brownie is going to help me hold it, and we're going to read it. We are going to say the names of numbers 0 through 20. We're going to say the names. We may not get to all of the numbers, but we're definitely going to say the names, and we're going to clap out how much those numbers are. All right, our next objective is that we're going to identify patterns, use, I'm sorry, identify patterns and use different materials to create those patterns. And different materials can be, I'm going to sit this guys down while me and Brownie are talking. Uh, different materials can be your shoes, your socks, it can be buttons, it can be fuzzy balls, it can be pencils, it can be crayons, it can be markers, it can be spoons, it can be for it can be straws, it can be shirts. That's any material that you are want to use to create a pattern. Today we just have colored buttons to create our patterns. But first, let's get to our first objective. We are going to look at some numbers, say the name of those numbers, and we're going to clap it out. Are you ready, Brownie? Yep, I think he's ready. Oh, okay, let's go to our first number. Our first number is number two. Yes, number two. Let's clap it out. Ready? Let's put our hands together. Let's clap it out. Go. One, two. How much you just clapped, friends? Yes, you clapped two. All right, let's go to our next number. Hmm, what do you think that number is? Yes, that is number five. Number five. Let's put our hands together. Let's clap out five. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five. Great job. How much you just clapped? Five. You did. Okay, let's do another one. Let's take a guess at what this number could be. Yes, this is number eight. And what I notice on my number cards, I have the number and I have it in words and it's down here in Spanish in words. So this is the number eight. Guess what we're gonna do? Put our hands together and let's clap out number eight. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Awesome. How much you just clapped, friends? Yes, you clapped eight. All right, let's keep going. Oh, that's a big number. You know what that number is, Brownie? Show Brownie. Hmm. He wants to know what that number is, too. Friends, this is number 13. 13 is a one and a three put together. Number 13. Are you ready to clap that high? All right, then. Let's put our hands together. All right, Brownie, sit up nice and tall. Ready? Let's clap. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. Whoa, friends, we counted how much? Yes, we counted 13. All right, let's pick another number. Hmm, what number do you think that is? Yes. Come on, my friends, keep thinking. Some friends know it. Some friends need a little bit more time. This is number 13. I'm sorry, not 13. Miss Thomas, that is number 16. Yes, a one and a six. When they are together, it's number 16. 16. All right, let's put our hands together. Ready? 
Let's clap. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Amazing, my friends. Number what? Yes, number sixteen. Woo, that is good. All right, we're going to keep going with a few more numbers, okay? All right, let's talk about that. I bet you guys know this number. I bet even Brownie knows it too. Yes, you got it. Number three. Yes, number three. Put those hands together. You ready? Let's clap it out. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh-oh. We're supposed to be stopping at number three. I just love clapping, but guess what we can do? We always can start over. Start over, and we're going to stop at what number? You got it, friends. Number three. I don't know what Miss Thomas was thinking. Let's go. Stop at three this time, friends. Let's do it. One, two, three. There we go. Number three. Man, I love counting. That's why I just kept going. All right, but this time we, we're not going to do that. What number is this, friends? <laughs> yeah. This is number six. Good job, number six. This time, Ms. Thomas, we need to stop at what number, friends? Number six. All right. Hands together. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, I remember to stop this time, friends. Number six. Good job, number six. All right, let's see what the next one is. Uh-oh. We just finished with number six. Which one could this be? Yeah. If you need to count, count. This is number nine. What number is this, friends? Number nine. Let's clap it out. I'm going to sit it down. Let's clap it out. Ready? H hands together. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Miss Thomas remembered to stop again. What number, friends? Number nine. Yes, number nine. Awesome. All right, we're moving on up. We're going to a bigger number. Hmm. I see a one and a four together. A one and a four together makes the number 14. I bet some of you guys knew that, yeah? And if you didn't know it, guess what? It is totally okay because that's our business. But we are definitely are going to learn this number with Miss Thomas. Number 14. Let's clap it together. You ready? Hands together. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, keep going. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Good. What number did we stop at, friends? Yes, number 14. I think we have one more number. We do. Look at that big number. Can some of you friends guess what that number is? I'm giving you some thinking time. This is my thinking face. Do you have a thinking face? Let me see your thinking face. Yes, this is number 17. I like your thinking face. Now we got number 17. Guess what we need to do, friends? Yep, we need to put our hands together and clap it. Ready? All right, let's go, Brownie. It's almost, we're almost done with the numbers, Brownie. Ready? Let's go, friends. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-
14, 14, 15, 16, 17. Woo! Yes, we got all the way up to number 17. All right, let's see. Yep, now we're back at number three. That was some good counting. Next time we're together, we're going to do some other numbers for counting. Did you like that, friends? Brownie liked that. I'm glad that he was here with me to help me count because I like having friends with me that likes to count and likes to learn. Just like you, my friends there, I'm glad you like to count and you like to learn. Well, I'm going to sit Brownie down and we're going to finish up the last part of our lesson. We're going to talk about patterns. Patterns, they are things that repeat themselves. They go over and over and over again. So usually I tell all my friends here at school and I'm gonna tell all my friends here at home, a pattern is something that repeats itself. Can you do that with me? All right, let's do it. A pattern is something that repeats itself. Your turn. A pattern is something that repeats itself. One more time. A pattern is something that repeats itself. Awesome. All right, I'm going to sit Brownie down so we can get into our patterns that repeat themselves, okay? I have all of my pattern activities right here for you. I'm going to move this over, and we're going to get into a pattern. We're going to do color patterns today. Usually, I like putting a letter name to color patterns, but since we're back together, we're going to start off slow. We're going to do some color patterns, okay? My first color pattern, I want you to tell me, they're going to be shapes and colors. How about that? Because I know you guys are so smart and you can knock it out. Okay, here's the first color and the first shape. Good. I, I want you to be telling me what those colors are and what the shapes are once I get them all up. Because you guys are going to already know them. Yep, you're going to already know them once I get them up there. You guys are so smart because I know you already know what the pattern, what the color is, and what is the shape. Yep, it's kind of going all the way down, but guess what? It's okay. We can do that because that's what we can do. All right, have you guys fi figured out what the color is and what is the shape? All right, let's do the colors first. You ready? When I touch it, you see it. Let's go. Yellow, blue, Yellow, blue, yellow, blue. Amazing. Let's do it again. Yellow, blue, yellow, blue, yellow, blue. Awesome. Now, let's. what's the shape? This is the shape of a what? A square. Oh, my God. This is a square, too, right? Is this a square? You got it. Is this a square? Yes, is this a square? Yeah, and if this is a square, fantastic. You guys did a great job telling me the shape are all patterns. I'm sorry, the shape is all squares, and the colors are yellow, blue, yellow, blue, yellow, blue. Fantastic. A yellow and blue pattern. Guess what? The yellow and blue pattern is going to do what? Yes, it's going to repeat itself. A pattern is something that repeats itself. Let's do another two-color pattern. You ready? All right, let's do this shape and pattern. Ready? You can already tell me what the color is, and you can already tell me what the shapes are. Because I know you already know, and that's amazing. It is amazing that you already know. I'm going to try to even push you further by giving it a letter name. I want to give these color patterns and shape a letter name. But you're like, Miss Thomas, what's the letter? The letters are like A, B, C, D. Those are letters. Letters help us read and write. So even letters for patterns are going to help us read and write. Before I give you a letter name, let's look at the color pattern down here in the shape pattern. Okay? You ready to go for the colors? Let's do it. Yellow, green. Yellow, green. Yellow, green. All right. Now, how about the shapes? 
Let's do the shapes. Circle, square, circle, square, circle, square. Yes, circle, square, circle, square, yellow and green. So now, can Miss Thomas push you even a little further? Could I get you to give it a letter name? Yes, you, yes, it has a letter name. All right, let's start back up at the top. Let's start with the yellow and the blue. So when we start saying our letters, we always start with letter A. And matter of fact, we're gonna do uppercase A. There's letter A, all right. What comes after A when we're doing our alphabet, our letters? B. There's letter B. So yellow gets A, blue gets B. Here's a yellow. So if this yellow is an A, then this yellow has to have a what? Yeah, this yellow needs to have an A too. Okay? Well, if this B get, I'm sorry, if this blue gets a B, then this blue has to get a what? Yes, it has to get a B as well. All right, so we know yellows are A's. Here's another yellow. All right, it gets an A. We know the B, the blues are B's. So this blue gets a what, friend? Yes, you got it, it gets a B. Look at that, friends. We gave the color pattern a letter name. What? Did you know that you can do that? Well, guess what? You can do it because you see it right there. And you're gonna say the pattern with me. Are you ready? Let's do it. A, B. Keep going, friends. A, B. That's it. A, B. Fantastic. Well, here's a question for you. What is the color of the A-B pattern? Come on, you got it. What is the colors of the A-B pattern? They are what? Yellow, blue. Yellow, blue. Yellow, blue. Fantastic. All right, let's go down to this pattern here. Remember, this pattern was circles, square, circle, square, circle, square, right? And the colors were what? Yellow, green, yellow, green, yellow, and green. Do you think we can give this pattern a letter name like we did up there? Yes, we can. Thank you, friend. Yes. So when we start with our letter names, we always start with what letter? You got it, letter A, letter A. All right, what's after letter A? Comes B. The green is a B. There we go. So if this yellow circle is an A, then this yellow circle needs to be a what? Cool, yes, it has to be an A, okay? Now, if this green square is a B, then this green square needs to be a what? Yes, it needs to be a B too. Let's make it a B. All right, yellow circle A, yellow circle. Yes, it needs to be an A. Let me move it over just a little bit for us. It needs to be an A too. Awesome. All right, green square B, green square what? B, yes, green square B. You did it. Now let's get ready to name the letter. You ready? Let's give it the letter name. Let's go. A, B, A, B, A, B. Awesome. Do you want to go over the colors again? Let's go over the colors. Yellow, green, yellow, green, yellow, green. Oh my goodness, give yourself some hand claps. Yes, that was fantastic, but we're not done yet. We got a couple of more patterns that we can do. You ready? Because I'm ready, I'm excited. All right, let's take these down and we are going to be ready. Hmm, you think we're gonna be, a, gonna be a tough one? No, you guys, it's not gonna be tough. You know why? Because you guys are totally 
totally got this. Totally in control. You ready, friends? So we're going to take all these down, all right? We're going to erase the letter names, okay? Because we're going to make some new letter names. You ready? Like, of course, Miss Thomas. All right, so when I put it up, as I'm placing it up here, I want you guys to make sure you are going. But you telling me the color. You can tell me the color. You ready? All right, here we go. Hmm. I bet you guys already know what that color is and already know what the shape is. Yeah, I know it because we know our colors. We know our shapes. If you don't know the colors and the shapes, guess what? You're going to learn it with Miss Thomas because I am here for you and you are here for me because that's what we do. All right, do you see the colors so far? You do? Great, that makes Miss Thomas happy. Okay, I have two more to put up here. Because you're like, what are you doing, Miss Thomas? That looks like that's going to be hard. No, it's not going to be hard. Because you got this. All righty. So first, let's look at the shapes that we have here. These are all the same shapes. What shape do you think that is? Yes, it is a square. All of these shapes, all these objects, all of these materials are a square. You got it. So now, hmm, I need to name the colors. You ready? Well, let's do it. What color is this? Green, red, yellow. Keep going, friends. Green, red, yellow. Green will come next, yes? Well, let's take that around because sometimes that one confuses me. Let's try it again. Go for it. Green, red, yellow. Green, red, yellow, great. So we know they're all squares and it's a green, red, yellow pattern. I like that. But you know what I like to do even further? I want to give it a letter name. Can we give it a letter name? Absolutely, Miss Thomas, well, let's do it. Do you remember what we always start when we write a letter? We always start with the first letter, which is letter what? You got it, letter A. All right, so the green square is a letter A. What about the red square? What comes after A? B, you got it. Good. All right, so we have green square is A, red square is B. Uh-oh, we have a different color. Look like we have to have a different letter. So we say A, B, C, yes, we got it. So if this green square gets an A, this green square has to get a what? Yep, it has to get an A. All right. If this red square gets a B, then this red square has to get a what? Yeah, it needs to get a B too. All right. If this yellow square gets a C, then this yellow square needs to get a what? Yes, it needs to get a C. Whoa, Miss Thomas, you're about to blow our mind. Look at the colors and look at the letters. So the letters, what are the letters? What do you think the letters are? Come on, I'm gonna help you say them. A, B, C. Let's do it again. A, B, C. Wow, that is a big, long pattern. But guess who did it? You did, friend. You did that pattern. Let's do it again. You ready? Let's go. A, B, C. Come on, keep going. A, B, C. Woohoo! We did it! Yes! Would you like to go over the colors again? Okay, cool. Let's go over the colors. We have green, red, yellow. Green, red, yellow. Amazing, friends. Woohoo! Okay, we have time for one more pattern. You ready? Of course you are, because that's our business to be ready. All righty. Okay, I'm going to take these off. This time I'm going to sit them back here in the back. 
And we're gonna do, we have time for one more pattern. Let's erase the letters of A, B, C. All right, here we go, friends. You ready? Mmm. Uh-oh, look like we got a new shape. And I bet you know what that shape is. I know you know what that shape is. And it's a new pattern, a new shape, a new pattern. You ready? Oh, yeah, you got this. Absolutely, you have this. All right. You guys have already guessed the shape, and you guys have already guessed the color before I even can finish putting them up there. That's what I love about you, friends. You guys are on it. Yes. And for our friends that still need the help, guess what? I'm here. I'm here to help you. All right, you ready to do the sh uh, shapes? Yes, let's do the shapes. I see a green triangle, mm -hmm. a green triangle, uh-huh, a red triangle, yep, a green triangle, yep, a green triangle, and a red triangle, huh? So all of the shapes are what kind of shape? Yeah, you got it, it's a triangle. Awesome. Now let's do the colors. You ready to do the colors? Let's do it. What's our colors? Green, green, red. All right. Green, green, red. Whoa. Let's do that again. Uh oh, I'm trying to get that in my brain. Green, green, red. Yes. Green, green, red. Red, good. So they're all green and red triangles. Green, green, red. Green, green, red. Sometimes it helps for me to sing it so I can remember it. And if you like to sing it, go ahead on and sing it. Why? Because that's your business and you can do that. Green, green, red. Green, green, red. Now, are we ready to give it a letter name? Good. All right, so if this is a green, we're going to start off with what letter? Remember, with the letter we always start in the alphabet. Letter A. All right, so if this green uh, triangle gets an A, this green triangle gets an A. All right? All right, we're moving to the next color where now he's red. But he's still a triangle, but he's a different color. So if these are the same colors, they get the same letter. Different color, different letter. What comes after the A? B. Oh, yes, B. All right, we're back at green. So if these two green triangle gets an A, then these two green triangles get an A. Wow. Okay, friends, you're moving faster than Miss Thomas. Now, if this red triangle gets a B, then this red triangle gets a what? Yep, it gets a B. Hmm. Are we ready to name this pattern? Well, let's do it. A, A, B. A, A, B. Would you like to sing it like we did? Green, green, red. Green, green, red. Okay, well, let's name it and sing it. A, A, B. A, A, B. Look at you guys. That was great. I love it. Well, friends, that is all the time that I have with you today. But guess what? I'll see you again on next time. We may still be working on numbers. We may still be working on patterns. But I want you to make sure you are practicing your numbers at home. Make sure you are practicing your color patterns at home too. Remember, you can use anything. You can use shirts. You can use shoes, you can use crayons, you can use markers, pencils, spoons, fork straws, anything. I just want you to keep on working and learning. Okay, friends? Bye. See you later. <laughs>